With every breath, we age. Life-giving oxygen is slowly killing us. Because oxygen isn't just explosive, it's corrosive. When oxygen touches pure iron, it starts a chemical reaction that turns it to rust. This nail, turned rusty by exposure to oxygen, has been eaten away. And if oxygen can do this to metal, just imagine what it can do to your body. It seems almost unbelievable that we're sitting here in 20% oxygen, breathing it, depending on it, and yet that same oxygen inside our, inside our body is actually doing damage. It's like rusting us from the inside. If you think about it, the atmosphere should probably have a health warning. The trouble is that it's not just oxygen that's corrosive. So are its byproducts. Inside the mitochondria, most of the oxygen we breathe is transformed into life-giving energy. But not all. Some oxygen degrades into particles called free radicals. The trade-off, more power but more damage, intrigues biologists like Gordon Lithgow. Mitochondria is really like an alien invader. It's, uh, it's a bit of a pact with the devil. We get from the mitochondria lots of cheap free energy, but also it's possible we get aging. The mitochondria are a bit like a, a nuclear power station in your back garden. Lots of cheap free energy, but highly toxic byproducts that have to be managed. Once released, free radicals can damage any part of any cell in the body. Worst of all, they strike at the genes at the heart of every cell. The brain is about 2% of the weight of the human body, but consumes about 20% of the oxygen. And we're all worried about the effects of dementia as we get older. And we do know that the brain cells are particularly susceptible to the toxic effects of oxygen. A young brain glows with huge numbers of mitochondria. But as time goes by, the free radicals produced by the enormous energy demands of the brain begin to kill the mitochondria. One by one, the batteries fail. And so does our brain. Memory becomes impaired, and thinking becomes confused. When we dissect brains, we can sometimes see those changes. Old brains show extensive signs of free radical damage. In some brains, like this one, the damage is greatest amongst the cells that control movement. Normal brains have a healthy dark line of these specialist cells. But in the brain on the right, the dark cells are no longer visible. They have been destroyed by the problem. Given that we know the effects of oxygen. It's not a surprise that we age or we grow old. What is surprising though is that we actually live so long. I remain. The more you rush around, the more oxygen you need and the more free radicals you produce. And more free radicals means more damage.
If free radicals are the main reason why we age, then perhaps we should be looking at ways to reduce the...